This the chopper power. 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 Yo, I am Fat Man, and this is the Chop Up Hour. Man, look here. Quake 305 in the building. That's good, eh? Man, I'm good, fam. What's happening with you? Chilling, man, bless. Beautiful thing, man, beautiful thing. I want to thank you for coming today, too, man. Um, we're looking forward to this interview, bro. <laughs> for sure, man. I appreciate you having me, for, for sure. For sure. For sure. It's your first podcast? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Real shit? Yeah, okay. first podcast. Podcast? Yes. I'm going to go podcast. easy on you then. <laughs> I'm going to go easy on you, man. Hey, where you from originally, Quay? Overlock of Bunch Park. Bunch Park. Man, yeah. I was playing out there as a kid football, man. Little league. <laughs> yeah, Long yeah. time, bro. Long yeah, time, yeah. man. Hey, well, I, I, man, I was doing some research on you the other day, right? Mm -hmm. CEO of Hit Squad Records. What's that? How long you record label been in existence? Since 2019. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, with a record label. Cause I had another record label over here the other day. Uh, what's some of the challenges you got that you face with the record having a record label, man? And are you a part of your record label? Are you on your own record label? Yes, uh, I am on my own record label. Challenges, I mean, I think it varies from everybody in their situations, but definitely what I can speak from my experience would be, first off, it was just understanding the business side of having a record label. Okay. In general, and I mean, because it's more than just I got an LLC, but now I got a record label. Right. I can I can sign people. Like, is we got to worry about the distribution because that's what record labels do. They just they they whether they do it through a third party or do they do it through, through their own record label. You feel me? So you got to worry about that. How are you gonna do that? You got to get the uh, ISRC codes. You because you're distributing the music now. You need that, and I learned that from my man Teddy over there. Straight right? up, shout out to it's Teddy. Like, like so, like that's definitely one of the challenges. Just understanding what a record label is and how a record label actually operates. Gotcha. Um, let me ask you. So. And you got another artist on your label at the time? Yes, I do. Right now, they, well, I got one. He he, just, he had to step back for a minute, but he coming back working. And the rest of them, they, they just creating right now. They not ready to jump out. I got yet, you. So. I got you. Understood, man. Understood. I want to get to this new, fe uh, this new um, I don't know if it's an EP, but I think it's a single. But it could be part of an EP. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly, man. The Down Bad Record, man, with Mike Smith, Mike Smith feature. Uh, Tell us about that record, man. It's, it's a single. It's a single. I'm gonna let it ride that way. I ain't gonna put okay. it on nothing else. I, at this moment, I don't think I am. Um, but that came about. Uh, I was performing at KOD. Um, it was VP booking. Okay. It was her five year anniversary of having her company and doing what she been doing for for artists out there. So. She had Mike Snow come through. He was the he was the main headliner. I was on the sub headliner. Okay. And from that moment, like I always ask, just put me in the room. That's all you gotta do. Put me right. in the room. Right. I can handle it from there. I can handle it from there. Right. Straight up. Um, and I had already met Mike previously at the trick at the 25th anniversary concert when it was down here in okay. Miami. Because right. I opened up for that, so I was backstage. I got to talk to him back then. And at that time, you know, I talked to him like, hey, you know. This who I am, remember Whoopi Woo, and he was like, I was like, I'm trying to lock in. So that's what we did. Okay. We locked in. Got I wrote the song that literally the next day I wrote the song. Uh, went to the studio that that weekend. And it was history after that. Right. Right. I sent it to him and he sent me back the next day. So it was, it was Damn, ready to go. Yeah. Thing. I see you got visuals on it too. You shot a video. Yes, yeah, sir. I, I told him, I said, hey. The street's rocking with it, boy. We need one. He was like, all right, let's set it up. Straight up. Straight up, man. Hey, Quay, that's amazing, man. You ever get a feature, man. You know what I mean? From a heavy get a heavy weighter, man. You know? Yes, Beautiful thing, man. Um, in the process, um, I saw your visual. That was your little baby? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, how old is she? Uh, it's a boy. He's a boy, okay. Yeah, it's all right. A lot of people do it. A lot yeah, of people do it. Yeah, man, my mistake, bro. <laughs> he, he, he's so gorgeous. A lot of people be like, oh my God, I thought I was a little girl. No, yeah, it's yeah, all right. Yeah. But uh, he won. One and a half. One and a half. Yeah. That's your first kid? Yeah, first one. Yeah. Beautiful thing, man. Man, I love it, bro. Um, I also saw that you were, uh, what is this, uh, featured in Hip Hop Weekly. 
Yeah, yeah, that was uh, what back in 2020, I want to say. Okay. How that came to be? They sought you out, or they reached out to you and said they wanted to. Nah, nah, I ain't even gonna, nah. Okay. They didn't reach out, it was something that definitely, you know, I made my, you know, I, I got my way, I put my foot in the door somehow, some way, and, and made things happen, but yeah. They ain't, they ain't reached out, not, not yet. The next time though, they, yeah. it's gonna be because they reached out for sure. Straight definitely. up, they did an article on you and everything? Yeah, they did an article, um, yeah, everything. They I got good, I got good um, feedback from okay. it, like good, you know, good insights, you're gonna be good traffic to my everything. Cause it's my new, Video was called Good Day. Okay. What year um, was this here? 2020, 20, I want to say. Yeah. Twitter, Twitter. Yeah. You working, bro? Yeah, no, nah, I've been working since December 2018. Jesus. That's when I dropped my first thing like ever. Um, and I was just doing music then. Like, what was, I was it? Just a single music. EP? It was an EP. It was an EP. It was an EP. It was, EP. It called, it was called Star uh, Homemade. Like I recorded myself. Um, okay. It just was grinding because. And officially though, when 21 is when I stepped out and really said like, all right, okay, let's do this thing for real. Let's go out there, let's network, let's perform, let's make connections and take it to a new level. Right, right. Wow, man, that's pretty cool, man. And the source, what was the deal with the source, man? Uh, the source is the same thing, same thing kind of with Hip Hop Weekly, same type of vibe. Same type of vibe. Yeah. yeah. Man, beautiful to be noticed, ain't it? It's nah, yeah, yeah. Like beautiful. I said, but like I said, it both, I got good. The, what I got, what I wanted. Right. Like, I got the, the the viewers. I got the eyes on right, right. what I wanted. So you hey, let me ask you a question. You got a team behind you, man. That that work that work with you day to day on the day to day. I mean, it's yes and no, right? Okay. <laughs> I say yes and no because right now what I am looking for, I am looking to add on. Okay. Um, just for like miscellaneous information, like because I, I have a team, right? But they're more of a support team. Gotcha. They're more of a, like, if they do have some, you know, feedback, of course, it's always welcome. They mm. give their feedback. I always take into consideration, viewing, and all that good stuff. But I'm really looking for the add on to the team. Like, I need, like, somebody yeah. do the small, tedious paperwork, registering the songs on this platform, yeah. and this, getting this, and pretty much all the paperwork. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with, bro, on the day to day, trying to make sure things. Is where they need to be at and so forth. And the end of the day, trying to it's get good. that deal, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow, man. How many projects you got to this day, man? That you ever released? Um, I want to say we had four albums, four EPs, a few singles in between. You know, okay. something like that. Yeah. Mike Smith, your beach's biggest feature today? Yeah, yeah, Mike the biggest today. Yeah. Beautiful thing, man. How they can find it? How they can find the, the content, man? The video and the, and the, and the music. Uh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. All you gotta do is type in Q U E Y 305. And it's everywhere. That's on YouTube. You can Google me if you want to. Instagram, Twitter, it's everywhere. Y'all heard what Quay said. Man. <laughs> hey, Quay, let me ask you. Um, you like doing shows? I, I, I love doing shows. Uh, performing do? is fun. Like, performing is a. Is a I enjoy performing. Like it's nothing like getting on that stage and really performing and just expressing yourself. No doubt about it. So you would say you would like the performing part over the creating part. Like when you make it the music, is that more? I, I um, guess I should ask the question yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah, you like oh, creating no, more nah. than performing or what? Okay. Um, no, nah, I think I have to take creating over performing. You like creating over performing? Yeah, definitely. That vibe, right? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, and that's another thing, like, that's the real expression of it, because right. performing, like, yeah, I'm expressing through my movements, through everything, but when I'm writing, I'm, like, that's me really sitting down, talking to myself, and really, like, all right, let's put what I feel out on this paper. Right, right, right. Let me ask you, what, what, what down, with the Down Bad record, right? Mm -hmm. What made you go with this record over? I'm sure you had other thousands of records, and <laughs> hundreds of records laying around. What made you choose that particular record? One, I wanted to be something from from scratch. So, cause like you said, I did have other. And I was like, hmm, he might sound good on this. I might throw him on this. I can go lay this down. But I wanted to be from scratch because I wanted to, in a sense, cater to him, to his to his sound, to his yeah. type of vibe, right? I wanted to be. Like, that's how I work. When I work with you, I want to know, like, I know his music, so it's easy for me to, right. okay, I know if I go somewhere around this lane, it's going to be smooth selling for him. Like, right. he can do this in his sleep. Right, right. Because I, 
I study music and I study artists. Like I do more than just listen. I'm studying. I'm listening to how they they rhyme schemes, just different things. So yeah, I really went from scratch with that. Um, and like I said, I I heard the beat. Um, and so you know. Dundee the producer. I was gonna ask who produced yeah, the record. Yeah, Dundee producer. Uh, definitely, you know, local local talent, well known in Miami, doing this thing for sure. Um, and that's what it gave me. It gave me like just the reminiscing, like, right. boy, I done, I done been down, boy. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so that's what it was. I was like, that's perfect. That's, that's what it was. Man, I love it, man. Love it. The process of building and hearing it, hearing it from the artists themselves tell you the ins and outs of it, man. Um, I was gonna ask you too, also. Who's on your Who's on your or your radar right now next to work for you work with on a record, man? I gotta look at the camera for this because I, I was hoping this was the camera, all right? It came, nigga. Because everybody, you hear me? I'm talking everybody. Like I'm gonna put it this way: like my dog told me I'm humble, right? Straight up, he told me I'm humble. So right now, this is not a humble moment. I am the new face of Dade County. Like it's point blank period. So everybody come lock in. Let's get let's make it happen. Talk like, your shit. I'm dude. talking from all the way from the JT monies. I'll bring the poison clan out of the time and if I got to. Like Straight let's up. do it. Like Straight up. Let's do it for real. Hey man, that's what's on that's how you feel about it. That's what it is, man. Yes sir. Man, man, as we know uh, Miami uh artists they man, y'all got a fucking boatload of yeah. artists out of that actually done done it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not just yeah. doing it, done done it before. So I'm sure that'll be an easy thing for you, man, once you get on their radar. You know yeah. what I mean? Quay, what's next, man? I know you're pushing the single right now, man, Down Bad. Mm-hmm. What you got next coming up behind Down Bad? I honestly got like three more songs. I don't know how I'm going to release them. I don't know when. Um, I haven't even recorded them yet, but they're written. I I, re- I rehearse. Like, I rehearse before I go to the studio because I wanted to. When I get in the studio, I like for it to be quick right and i like for me to pretty much i don't need the phone because yeah that's that's the best performance i want to get my best performance in I front agree. of that mic I agree. so when it comes out everybody is hearing the best i got to give right right um but i don't even know yet like i i got this thing i guess you can call it a mantra kind of i don't plan okay. i let life tell me what to do i got you like so i don't really like to try to plan too much i like to Life start throwing me little subtle hints. And I'm right. like, okay, that's I got you. It's time to do this. Yeah. So. Wow. That's that's pretty damn dope, man, to move like that on the fly. You know what I mean? I'm okay with that too, man. <laughs> I'm okay with that too. It's, it's a lot of times I sit at this table, I'll be going off the fly, <laughs> man. I just go with whatever the energy the artists give me at that more exactly. point in time, man. Um, Working with Mike Smith, man, on the visual side. How was it, man? It was great. I got, it was great. Even even on the on the music side, like everything was great. Um, like I said, he sent the track back the next day. Right. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Hey, and the visual, it was it was just dope. Like he came out. Like I asked him to come out. It wasn't no hassle. Like it was dope. Like he a real like he's a real stand up guy for sure. Like, Straight up. It was good vibes the whole time we was there. You know, I mean, you know, he, you know, he hollered at the jet, talked to him the jet, all my, my people that was right, there. Right, right, right. They, they had one of a good time with him because I was working, you feel me? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you were. They, they was really the ones coming back, telling me the stories. Like, hey, boy, yeah, I talked to Mike, but we were talking about this, whoop de whoop. So. Well, you shot the videos in your backyard, in the area where you were from? Yeah, that was uh, the city hall, the old historic city hall of, of Opelopper. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Who shot the videos for you? Uh, loaded up visuals. Loaded, loaded up, up visuals. visuals. Yeah. Shout out to them boys, yeah, man. Yeah, loaded sure. up visuals. Shout out to loaded up for sure. Mm-hmm. Loaded up. Let me tell you about that day. Oh yeah, <laughs> spit that shit, bro. I think we planned to start at six. We probably ain't starting at like seven forty-five. He was there at six, man. You loaded up. Was there at the six. It's about the evening. Nah, evening. Okay. Yeah, he was there at six, like, and he ain't give me no complaints. Like he, he. Yeah, he working. Yeah, he was like, all right, bro. Where you from? Cut. So everybody, when everybody finally got there, we shot it. Uh, like I said, I don't plan, right? That was the best visual that we was gonna get that day at that time that it was shot. Right. If we would have started at six, it probably wouldn't have been right, right, what it was. Right, right. Wow, man. Hey, that that's uh, that that's amazing, bro. I right, man, I love it, bro. I love it when 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 guys come together, man, and build, man, and create, man. And, I pray, to, I pray this a hit record for you, brother. Sure, you know what I'm saying? Sure. 
You got yeah, shit. Yeah. You putting the work in, brother. You got the label, man. You know what I'm saying? Instead of creating music, you got artists, man. That's that says a whole lot about you, Quay. You got your business intact, bro. Matter of fact, same. Gotta, gotta throw the plug in there. Hit Squad Records. This the jacket. There it is. Uh, this the hoodie. There um, it is. I also got, I got pants. We got some merch. Shirts, yeah. It's on the, it's kind of, I'm finna give a full release. It's kind of on a soft release with just me wearing it. Okay. I ain't been, I ain't put it out for sale just yet, but okay. once I get the website up and running, yeah, it's over with. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Beautiful thing, man. Real quick, before we get out of here, man, I want you to tell these people how they can find you, bro. Uh, yeah, definitely. So, like I said, everywhere, Q U E Y 305, Quay 305, everywhere, Google, Twitter. Instagram, YouTube, definitely gotta go check out the video with Mike Smith down bad. It just dropped December 2nd. So y'all definitely gotta go grab that. Man, y'all heard what he said, Quay 305 at the chop up hour. Yes, Shout sir. out to Teddy T man for making this happen come to come to be man. Y'all fuck right, y'all like, share, subscribe, man. This is the chop up hour on fat man, Quay 305. Yo. This the chop up hour. This the chop up.